Hi there YouTube, this is the long awaited video tutorial on how to do a repaint for a PMDG 737 NGX. This tutorial can be used for other paint kits. The principles are the same, or basically the same, but we are doing a repaint for the PMDG. I'll be using two main products, the first one being Photoshop. This is basically self-explanatory is where everything comes together I'll also be using a plugin from NVIDIA uh, which is a DDS plugin the links are in the description below the DDS is what FSX uses uh, to read the files as a, an image to wrap them onto the aircraft Another item I'll be using is obviously the paint kit files itself. I've already downloaded and extracted it and they are in this folder here. I've also got some photos of the real aircraft that I want to do a repaint for. If you're doing a fictional repaint or a repaint for your own virtual airline then you you do it without any photos. I've also got two shortcuts at the top here. I've got the FSX root, which is the root directory for my FSX. And I've also got a shortcut to my config folder. Not needed, but we may come to that later on in the videos. This video is going to be me basically explaining things and going through everything. The following videos, I won't be talking. You'll be just listening to music and following the cursor around the screen. If you do need any help leave a comment below on any of the videos and I will do my best to reply to them. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. I will be uploading more video tutorials in the near future. So let's crack on. So I've downloaded the paint kit, I've already extracted it and inside here we have a fair few files that we need to look at. The main ones that we're going to be using in this half of the video are the Fuselage Master. This is the full aircraft that we're going to be repainting and then we will split that into three sections uh, to put into the various other categories. The Fuselage 1 is the front half of the aircraft the fuselage 2 is the center air of the aircraft both left and right and then you've also got the fuselage 3 which is the rear of the aircraft we also have a tail PSD file which is the tail and engines and then we also have wing detail like I said the one that we're going to be concentrating on most in this half of the, or for the most part should I say, is the Fuselage Master. So I will open this up into uh, Adobe Photoshop and we'll get started. If your computer isn't the best in the world, these do take quite a while to open, especially from PMDG. They use high resolution textures and high resolution files as you can see at the bottom the file size is 323 megabytes so we'll open it up okay and as soon as it opens you'll see basically you've got the full aircraft both the left and right side the top and the bottom down on the right hand side you'll see a fair few things that we need to go through. I have actually edited this file prior to recording this video. If you want this repaint kit please let me know, email me, leave a comment, whichever. I will send it to you if needed. I've laid it out in an easier way so we can understand things a little bit better during the videos. I've included a few paint layers which some of them are already there I've actually added a few of them there's three main paint areas uh, or paint here layers 
um, the three being one on the vertical tail the second one being on the winglets and the third one being the main paint area but you can see everything's nicely labeled telling you what's what and where everything is etc etc you just need to spend a little time going through them you know turning them on and off seeing what's what when you click something something will disappear and when you click something else something else will disappear so like I said this this part of the video is basically me just giving you a rundown of everything that we need to be looking at doing and things like that so I've also got a, fo a folder with a few photos and in this folder I've got three photos of the aircraft which is a monarch uh, yes I know in the video previous to this uh, it was an EasyJet aircraft that I did uh, the reason I'm doing a different aircraft well I don't want to do the same aircraft twice because I've already done it once you know there's no point doing it again uh, so I'm going to do a different aircraft this time uh, which is going to be the old style monarch so I've got three main photos of the aircraft they are all from the uh, right hand side which I will later on in the video get some from the uh, left hand side but I've also got three logo files uh, these two at the bottom are mainly one for the tail the one here is basically for the text so I can find out what font it's actually using uh, if not I can actually copy that and make it bigger to stretch it out and the third one basically got this just for the colour uh, I needed the yellow orange colour and uh, I can copy it from that okay so that's the end of this part of the video uh, the next next parts of this video you're just going to see the mouse moving around the screen maybe with a little bit of music in the background please don't ask what mu the music is I'm sure you'll be able to find that out somehow but like I said enjoy any help that you need leave a comment below asking your question I will try to reply to it if not someone else will reply to that any help or anything like that like I said leave a comment and you know we'll do as best don't forget to comment like subscribe share you know all the usual bump that comes with YouTube and it's greatly appreciated.